Good evening and thanks for joining us. Last night we told you about all that drama in the heart of Washington. The surprise about it today is the unlikely person behind it all. She was a 34-year-old dental hygienist, mother to an 18-month-old. She had no history with the police, but she did, it seems, struggle with her mental health and may have thought President Obama was stalking her. Today, investigators were trying to piece together her past, as Eric Sorensen reports. Why she did it brought investigators here to the Connecticut apartment of Miriam Carey, a dental hygienist. The woman's bizarre driving caused chaos in Washington yesterday, two frightening shooting episodes that sent tourists fleeing. A police officer injured when his car smashed against a barricade. Oh my God. Carey's mother says she suffered from postpartum depression after her pregnancy, and police found at least two prescription medications for mental health issues. Delusional statements uh, that uh, President Obama was listening to her and communicating and so on. So they're going back over those reports to see if any of that can enlighten them. Carrie was eventually fired, but as is so often the case, neighbors didn't see this coming. She seemed like a nice person. <laughs> Whatever the cause, Carrie charged these barricades in her car with her child. The barricades encircled the White House property in Washington. Failing to ram through, the woman took off, police in high pursuit down Pennsylvania Avenue. About two kilometers away, near the U.S. Capitol, police surrounded the car, but she backed up and took off, gunshots ringing out. As she sped away again, onlookers could see the black car racing around the Peace Circle just west of the Capitol, then barreling down Constitution Avenue. On Constitution, barricades came out of the road. A police car smashed into one as it gave chase. Finally, at a hill checkpoint east of the Capitol, the car came to a stop, the driver apparently shot by police. Police here had been alerted to the earlier shots fired, but didn't realize Kerry was unarmed. Remarkably, her one-year-old daughter in the car as bullets flew was unhurt. One of our officers initially uh, rescued the child and took the child to initial medical care. One day after a lockdown on Capitol Hill, gratitude from lawmakers. These brave men and women put their lives on the line every day. Politicians grateful and maybe a little chagrined. In the midst of a government shutdown, Capitol Hill police are unpaid at the moment, but yesterday they dutifully protected the very lawmakers who suspended their pay. Donna? All right, Eric Sorensen in Washington. Thanks. And that shutdown is now in its fourth day. A whole lot of workers, not just those Washington police, are not getting paid. The American public is getting angrier. And the politicians, they are still deadlocked. Well, this isn't some damn game. The American people don't want their government shut down, and neither do I. We want to work. We want to work. Some of the 800,000 furloughed workers rallied outside the Capitol today, demanding their politicians show some leadership. So far, nothing. Republicans are still demanding to negotiate Obamacare. The president is calling on Republicans to, as he said, end this farce. Barack Obama has canceled his trip to the APEC summit in Bali because of the shutdown.